Thank you and welcome to my channel Solo Actan. Today I am reviewing for Tekken Smart Socket. You can see is pretty look nice and quality wise is good and it's like we open the box first. You can see it has uh, like you can connect to the Wi-Fi your app store you can control from app store amazon and alexa and you can set up the timer for this device first we open and check what is inside and then we can start to set up for this plug so just i try to open this with and check what is inside so here we go and this is very good deal because it look like fourth inside so we can check what is inside right now so come on and see four socket plug inside so price wise is very cheap and quality wise is good you can see check in four sockets inside and we can set up this is very simple but we go just step by steps and I put the devices for you so you can see how this box look nice so everything is here and it's the PC setup and there is Wi-Fi timer and here is the all detail here is the QR code basically this QR code you can connect through the App Store and Google Play Store and you just scan any QR scanner and scan this code and register to device and you can set up the your plug and it's work fine when you are not at home then you can use from Wi-Fi app or remote app to control your socket so we just check here this quality device is good and you can see it's very clear it's a Tekken and here is the power light on when you plug in and here's a QR code again on here too also so they made pretty nice this one so everything look nice so first we install because instructions say download the QR code and go step by step everything is here so you can see say Amazon Alexa and everything step by step you can go here so control your smart device through the Google Home so you can use Google, you can use your Alexa to use this one or you can use to work with the Wi-Fi. So first we open the App Store here and just, just check here what is it here. So QR code, I have it already. So we go back here and just go to here on the tablet. So I just search for scan barcode so qr code scanner so first i do this one here and i have to scan this barcode so i just go with the bag little bit to get the qr code so when this qr code is done so we can see here you can see the code is here so just click on the code and it's waiting for Say smart life so smart life is a google play store because it's an android device so we have to go to the google play and you can see it's very clear show so install so first we have to accept all the crumbs and it's waiting for the solution then after install we have to register and then we can go through the process for wi-fi setup When installation finished so we can put this socket onto the outlet and check what we can do with this so so it's almost done waiting for is complete so we can start the process 
and then we can click to open and it shows the devices here so is you can see the first thing is the register so you have to register first if you have the login if you don't have the login just click here for register sign and just accept for the you agree and then you have to put your email so i have the email already so but i can do one more time so we can go here i can go and then click to verify the code so this send you the code through the your here and then after you receive the code you enter the code and you are ready to go so check your email first and then you put the code in so first so go back to this stage so back here and when you go here verification code and the code come is registered so log in here log in and it's put your email address so And just log into your account and then after it shows you to add devices so first you have to device add before you device it you have to put like click on add device here and wait for the what they asking so it's say a smart switch and lighting so you can choose the smart socket so socket is here and you can put that second step so i just show you here so i'm just putting this socket in and wait for second for its power in so okay and it's look like it's blinking right blue so And then is blinking so we have to confirm here is blinking indicator and it's asked for me the password and everything so when is so put your password in and just wait for a few seconds so is a start the setup for the device it's pretty simple is first thing is very quick so you don't have to do anything just follow the instruction and just wait for a few seconds so when it's ready then everything should be works okay so it's a device is added successfully so just socket down here and installing the basically driver or what is need to run so it look like everything is ready so we have to wait few seconds then it's done so we can test the first socket then we add another socket to it and check how it work all sockets together so i just put at one or two more sockets to check and it look like pretty nice because the light is solid blue so as you can see the light is solid blue here so i'm waiting for it's done so 
we can work on that so So when first socket is start, you can change the name. What is a function? It's a common function. So I made it to is just like one plug here. So what I can put here, I put my iron and try to test iron first. So I'm just putting this iron together and test the work. It's work or not. So we plug into the device and and you can see iron is red right and here is the socket is blue right so we put all together three things so we can check one by one how it works so I put the socket in the center iron and everything we can see here so it's green light socket is blue and the power of on so what i do i can just turn off my one finger to everything shut down so we can go touch you can see iron is shut down and the no lights here so if we back here the another plug and just put on is very quick and fast easy setup because already we have the setup so it's take a little bit time to turn on so and it's on so it's automatically configured so it's like two and I'm putting on this one on my plug here for checking is for my bulb so my bulb is right now is here is on and when I just come back here I can show you here I just bring the devices all together so you can see this is the second socket is all automatically so i just <clears throat> want to show you here guys so this is my second socket and it's working all right and here is the socket too so i just click on that and the uh, is off so the bulb is off so i can just turn on the first socket by install the iron so i can just click here and it says the iron is on right now so we configure like this two things here and i'm adding the third one so i can close this one and this is pretty fast and quick setup for this one so just clock this one and after i'm putting the third plug it's just right here so i'm adding this one and it should be pretty fast setup so it's not take much time so you see already is blinking so just click to add what we did before and it's loading the socket and just is confirming so just continue indicator blink and it's asked for the same thing network and it's configured quickly so I put on this one as my printer then after we configure for like the thing so you can change the name for devices like you can put like first smart iron put a smart bulb second you can put third one you can put a smart printer so you know which one you want to use if like if you don't want to use just close the printer if you like on all the time so it's saving your time so here we can go and change the name too so if you click here and it says socket 3 so I can change any name what I need to but I just don't want to change the name right now so if I go close here and I put A it shows A so I no need to I just change the originally configured automatically and just saved and here is the option I want to show you before it's a Alexa Google you just click on that and it shows the setting with your Alexa so it can device and continue the test and everything so one by one everything is there so 
you can go with the Amazon and you can go here with the Google Home. So everything is easy and simple. Or if you don't want to go with that, you can use yes, this own app, Smart. You can download from Apple Store. So it say we have configured with the three switches. So third socket is on, right? But I need to put some kind of the plug here so we can test. So I'm just putting my printer and I will check this work. So basically I'm putting all things together after we go the final review. So here is the plug for printer, right? So I'm putting the printer on here and you can see after here printer and printer power on so you can see the printer is on right now so if you don't want your printer run 24 hours without anything it's okay you can shut down from your app so it save your electric so you come back here and just on the third socket and you have to do with the same thing here just green light so just touch on the one and it should be off so just touch this one and it should be off so there is no blue lights on so all sockets are off so so on you can put like something for night bulb and you want to sleep at night and you don't want to like close and open every time so i can use as this one as a night bulb so first i'm just moving a little bit so put the four socket so you can see how it works so i just put another socket right now here okay and it's blink light is blinking when it's blinking just click on the right side here add the device and this is a socket so just click on the socket and then wait for a few seconds and just click to confirm indicator as your network and your after network is take only 5-10 seconds to run configure the device so when this device configure it should be solid blue so they have good features and I like this device because I can control my full thing from home in anywhere so I tested this is from Walmart I was in Walmart and I used to so you can see is successfully divide, add, uh, device added just done and I'm using this my night lamp so the night lamp I put here I will show you here just a moment so I can put this night bulb here right and just try to start okay so normally I just turn on or off all the time so I no need to do I just click on here so I no need to open and close anytime when I or I can do one more thing important I can do use this feature here all the time so it's smart so you can add any multiple device on the one time you can so using the Alexa speaker or through or you can go back here home you can use the timer so timer is like the function here when you click on the here it shows timer so just click on timer and it shows like when you want to start your device or you want to close your device so this work as a lawn you have the water so water turn off on so anytime what time you start like this time I have that here almost 441 is shows right now so I can put on devices 4 and come on and I can put 41 so 442 start so when 42 it should be start here something so I'm waiting for 20 seconds it should be start soon so waiting so timer is work too so if you want to cancel you can cancel but it should be work i put on the timer for the socket 4 
So socket 4 is just right here on my finger. So I'm just waiting for the timer start. So we put the timer on. So how to set the timer It's very simple and easy. It depends on how many hours you want to start the timer automatically is on or off. So we can go for testing. So testing means like I can go with the one or two minutes. So I just go here one minute and I just put for zero second and one minute. So I start now timer and wait for timer start for this socket for the bulb start. So basically I am putting all together so you can see when the timer done and this lamp automatically start. So I am putting all thing here but I am set the timer for only this. So you can see when it shows the time also too. So it's a 42 seconds, 35 seconds and when is the minute done and this lamp is on. So basically you can set up what time you want to this lamp on or close. So this work like that. So timer is good for your uh, lawn if you have the water on going on, on and off. So you can put this plug and you can set up the timer so you don't need to change anything just is automatically on or off so this is a good feature on this one and i like this one is very good and you can see the light is on so all things are like close only the i've sent set up the only this device for this device set up for timer but other one i can on on and you can see all four sockets working this is working printer is a start running and this is the fourth lamp is on so this is the basically for the video for the this company so this is a good smart plug and it's from the this company Tekken so is a nice plug I think as a cheap price too because you buy four the price of I think two so so I think I like this one so maybe you should try to and if you have any comment and questions you just leave in a comment box I think I can answer the, your questions if you have it please like and subscribe my channel thank you have a good day